Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and here we are, brand spanking new Chromebook. Um, this is the new version of the last Chromebook I had. Um, it was five years old, and, well, look at this. It's a brand new one. Uh, it's a Acer, um, I think it's still an Acer Spin 411, but it's like the school version of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna go over the my first impressions and what they've changed on it so far so first of all the most noticeable thing you put your finger across the top they changed the uh they changed the texture it's a little bit tougher now um and it's got the same as they changed the sticker too from uh chrome just the chromebook so that's kind of cool just like a little bit of an extra uh gimmick there i guess even though i don't know i might as well keep it at chrome but Whatever, it is what it is. Um, as far as ports, they're in a slightly different spot. Uh, same ports as on the, on the old Chromebook, but they are in a slightly different spot. They're more like out on the side here. Um, not really going much down here. There's nothing down here. Probably because like the main board's like located in this one spot, and that's where all the ports are probably going to be. Because the main board's right there. Just like a little spot in there. In there. This is what I think. On this side you have your Valium rockers for tablet mode. A USB port. A USB 3.0. So on this one, on the last one you only got one USB port I believe. Actually no, maybe you got two. I don't remember. This one you get a USB port. And then... Another USB-C port for charging, so you can charge on either side. And then a Kingston lock. Which is interesting, you usually don't see that. Um, overall, it feels a lot more solid. And, yeah, it feels a lot more solid. You can... Last one, like, flexed in a little bit. This one barely has any flex at all. Um, and look how smooth this thing opens up. On the last one, the hinges are starting to go. This one's got a nice, 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 uh, opening to it. Um, see so yeah, on the inside, not really much of a noticeable change. A new Intel sticker. <laughs> Something I noticed, it's kind of nice. Um, Trackpad's the same size, keyboard's slightly better, um, it flexes a lot less now, and the, the key travel is a lot more shallow, which means a little bit more satisfying to type on, um, up here you have a, you got the same screen, the 1366 by 768 display, um, yeah, Still looks up, still looks a lot better. The same one megapixel webcam on top, so it's pretty good. It's good enough with a webcam cover. So if you want to close that, you can close that. It's pretty cool. And over here, down here, you have a five megapixel webcam, uh, which same what was on the last Chromebook, just in a different cover. And you have a. Uh, I want to say these are microphones. I guess maybe you get like two microphones, dual microphones. Um, like when you're using the rear camera, you, when you're using the front camera, you like the microphone switch or whatever. Which is kind of cool. Kind of a cool gimmick. Or gimmick. <laughs> Pretty cool feature. Um, so what are my first impressions on this thing? Um, well, I gotta say... It's significantly faster. The hinges are smooth, so it's really nice. When you carry this thing around, it feels so much more solid. It feels like you're carrying something way more expensive than what it is. We'll say that. Um, as far as the key, as far as typing and stuff on the keyboard, it's a lot better. It's more shallow, so it's something to get used to, but it's pretty nice. Like It's not a bad experience, I would say, for typing on this thing. Um, the touchpad's about the same, except actually clicks properly 
something that Malice Chromebook didn't do after being taken apart. So, yeah, I guess that's all refreshed and new. Um, as far as the screen, oh my god, huge difference in the screen. I don't know if it's hard to tell on the camera or not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it is, it is, trust me, it's a huge difference. I could actually see detail in it. Slightly more detail. And the last one is the same resolution, yeah, but maybe the pixel density is a little bit better. Because I can actually see stuff on the screen now. Like the last one, you saw so much pixels. This one's not bad. And probably the nicest, biggest thing about this thing is speed. Look at this. It's so fast. So much faster than the old one. A lot of Google here right away. Loads of Google right away. Say I want to go to uh, YouTube. Mm, it's okay. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but um, it's a lot faster than um than my last one. And just like loading anything, you know, it's. Very fast when browsing the internet. Very nice. And this thing's probably fast enough now that I could probably do some uh, music mixing with it. So, yeah, I'll make a follow-up video on that. Um, my last Chromebook wasn't fast enough to do it. It was, it was kind of a pointless video, but we'll see with, we'll see with this one if I can uh, make some music with it. Yeah, it's a lot faster. I guess I'll go and get into the webcam, um, which I'm going to show it because it did get a lot better. Which just like in terms of the way the image is processed. So it's the same resolution, but instead of looking like all blurry, it's got a different method of, um, of, can of making, making the image sharper. And it does work. Like, when you get up close, it's still blurry, but it's significantly better. Um, they really were working on the way of um, of getting that to look better, I guess. The resolution, everything's still the same, though. Point, and that's still a 5, five megapixel camera in the rear. As far as the rear camera goes, you know, we'll do a quick audio test of this one. Let's make a quick little video. Alright, this will be just a quick little audio test and video test, I guess, of the of the webcam on this thing. Let's see. I'm just curious. It's gonna look kinda of dumb. Just a quick little audio test and video test, I guess, of the of the So the microphone didn't change at all. Which that's kind of expecting. There's no noise cancellation mic on there, which is kind of yeah, but whatever. It's fine. Rear camera, let's see, did it get any better? Uh, actually, yeah, it did. Again, just like in the simple fact of the, um, of the, of what's going on. So, let's see, okay, flip it over. Yeah, the focus is still very slow on this camera, but the actual quality that this films in with the sharpening of it Let's see can i put you guys right there yeah it's actually kind of decent i will say it does film 1080p video yeah not bad i wouldn't go around taking pictures every day with it but it's definitely not a bad chromebook like, the focus is on details on my desk I've never even seen before. Interesting. But, yeah. Camera-wise, the focus is so bad. But once it focuses, the quality is way better than um, the last one. I, I'd say probably uh, rivals, like, um, like, like an old iPad. In terms of the way the camera is, like, the original iPad Mini. With that 5 megapixel camera. So it's better. 
All right, that though, well, um, that's about it for first impressions. It's a nice Chromebook. Um, there's some things I wish they changed and some things I wish they didn't, but so far, first impressions are it's a pretty nice computer. Um, yeah, I guess I'll give you guys some updates on the road, probably like a yearly update or something like that. Nothing, nothing that much, like maybe start school year next year. Um, maybe I'll feature it, but I'm not really going to feature my school computers that much. This one, I still have though. Which is kind of funny, I still have it. The Dell Optiplex 3020. That the, uh, that the school gave me. So. That's going to go back soon. I just haven't. Really, I've just kind of forgotten about it. It's just kind of been sitting here. All this time doing nothing. Uh, yeah, other than that though. That's about it, so. New Chromebooks, very nice. Um, excited for the future of these things, so. See how these things help hold up compared to the old ones. So as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's always nice to make these videos and yeah, shoot up of uploads on this channel because of that. So as always, hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Northeastern Bus Productions. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. So I had to apologize for the video uh, cutting out. It was it was very close to the end, so I didn't end up making another one. But the video cut up, cut out towards the end on the previous video. And that's because my phone ran out of storage. So yeah. Anyways, I'll open to the video. Please share, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you next one. Peace out.